make that game, I know it's not easy, how were you able to make that game as completely one-sided as you did? Yeah, it just starts with how we prepared. Um, we had a great week of preparation, and we played complimentary football. Um, we, uh, one of the big things this week was just not turning it over, because uh, we know they created a lot of turnovers, and we did a good job of that. And defense came out and had a lot of three and outs, and special teams played well, so uh, on offense, we just tried to compliment them. What was Ray Ray's move on the sideline after his first two fumbles? Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, I mean, the first, uh, the punt return really wasn't his fault. Uh, we, T, they were kind of, they weren't joking about it, but they had, they had good spirits about it. Um, and then the second one, we just got to take care of it. Is that about as flawless a start as you guys have gotten out to all year, Hunter, or even in a long time going back to last year? Yeah, no, I mean, we, we started fast a lot this year. Uh, one thing we've been trying to work on is, is finishing. Uh, just kind of having that carryover. I know we played uh, when we played Boston College, Wake Forest, Georgia Tech, and we get off to a big lead, and then we let them come back. So uh, I feel like the last two weeks, three weeks, Citadel, South Carolina, and this week, uh, we've done a good job of finishing games. Is that the most complete game in the I think so, just because of the quality of the opponent. Um, um, every, all, all three phases really played well. So I'd say that's probably the best we've heard. Do you think the light switch has kind of clicked with Kelly in the last three weeks? Yeah, I think he started off 15 for his first 15. Uh, I mean, he's played played great all season. Um, but he's playing his best when it matters most, so that's what you want. He looks like he's having a lot of fun out there. You get to see him day to day. What is he like on a day to day basis? Yeah, he's just a fun guy. Um, his big thing this year is to be himself. He's not trying to be Deshaun, he's not trying to be whoever. He's trying to be Kelly Bryant. And uh, I think he's having a lot of fun with that. And I think that's working for him. What does his confidence, how's the, what's the trickle down effect of that with the rest of you guys? Yeah, anytime, I mean, that's our leader. So anytime uh, he's in a good mood and he's having success, everyone else is having success. And so just just uh, his toughness and just the leadership he brings to us is impactful. What he's done, kind of stepping in for a legendary quarterback, very few guys have done that regardless, but to do it without any sort of lack of confidence there. Either. Yeah. I mean, he, he, it, he seems like he knew he was going to do this the whole time. Yeah, that's just who he is, just his self-confidence. Just uh, he, he believes in himself, and we believe in him. I think that's what's making him special. Coach, you talked it? about your patience this year. It seems like the last couple of weeks you got yeah. to improve as well with this offense. Yeah, yeah. Um, our biggest thing was to get back to the playoff, and, and we have five goals, and so kind of check those off one at a time. So um, for me, it was just, just winning games. Um, uh, I was never really worried about scoring touchdowns or anything like that. Um, just putting ourselves in a situation and go back to play. When someone like